Alex Car Doctor. Welcome back, guys. Today, I got some real exciting news. I'm very excited about this one. Man, I finally got the money together to get my car back up on the road. Man, it's been a long time coming. Uh, well, uh, one thing I can say about her, she's not sentimental. And it's just, you know, I don't want no car note. You know, best just to put money in it, right? Let me show it to you guys. Here she is, guys. It's a 98 Chevy Cavalier. Yes, yeah, she probably need about $6,000 worth of work. Let me give you a tour of it. So the first thing, she needs motor mounts. Need a shifter cable. My intake boot is crap. Got a blown head gasket. Got a little body work she need. Need some tires. Uh, I can bring her back. It's not bad. You no, know, it beats a car payment. Uh, I guess I got into a shootout with somebody. <laughs> nah, guys, I'm just playing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I deal with this kind of thing all the time. Like, get a car in that's worth a thousand dollars, and somebody want to dump five, six thousand dollars into it. I'm like, don't do that. But do they listen to me? No, they do not. Um, they do the opposite of what I tell them to do. So, you know what? 2023, I'm not doing that no more. So that's why I'm making this video. That was my pusher car, by the way. I use it to, you know, push cars around the shop. And um, I kind of beat on it time to time just for the heck of it. But this is a prime example of two, two occasions where, you know, you shouldn't be putting money into cars. So let me uh, show you this. I think it's an 04 Mountaineer. Actually, it's a 01, 2001 Mercury Mountaineer. Basically an exploder. I mean, explorer. <laughs> now, the quick backdrop on this car. Let's give it a start. Uh, my first time seeing this car. Um, well, it's got low miles. Look at that. Well, you missed it. It was 130. 130 something um it's not gonna come back so quick backstory on this vehicle the guy came in the car had a blown head gasket i straight up told him then i was like hey you know these exploders they're not worth much on the street um you know i gave him the whole backdrop um uh, because he had a blown head gasket i was like you need a motor and will that hold up? No. So, after all that, I'm trying to talk the guy out of it. He decided he want to go with a used motor. So we got a motor in, and I always inspect the timing chain guides. The timing chain guide was trashed. Um, so we put a timing chain in it and that's not an easy job on this particular car the job to do a timing chain on this you have to pull the motor so that's why i told him while the engine is out let's go ahead and do it now you already in this um and he, he did the timing chain I, chain job i think i charged him like half the labor since i didn't have to pull the motor out got it back in there she's purring like a kitten <sighs> this was my worst fear Right out in the comment, why you think it's back at the shop? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in the shop. Ah, woo! <laughs> Can you already tell why it's in the shop? It needs a transmission. Um, sometimes this thing don't even want to go in reverse. Let's see what's going on. Eesh, it is banging in gear doing all kind of stuff. And guess what? I told him it was going to do this. I was like, you know, these exploder transmissions are not that strong. And uh, most likely you're gonna dump all this money into it. I think he dumped by five grand into this truck. And I was like, you know, you may need a transmission. <sighs> so again, guys, 
<laughs> he's putting a transmission in it and he didn't go used he went reman so let's say about eight grand he's got into this two thousand dollar truck not worth it now don't get me wrong i do love money but it hurts my heart to see when people waste their money um, i try to save them but do they listen no when people listen to me their life is better off when it comes to their vehicles i've been doing this a very long time and i think i know what i'm talking about do i want to take your money no i want to earn your money and be fair on both sides so unfortunately it is what it is let me show you my last example here's another dead horse come on get up get up you can get you can still do it come on i want one more ride out of you there's no sense of beating a dead horse. I repeat, the horse is dead, bury it. Here we have a, I think it's a 04. Uh, I forgot what year Taurus this is. Um, It doesn't say. Anyway, it's like a between a 02 to 05 Ford Taurus. Good little cars. But guess what? They're not worth no more than $1,500 to $2,000 on the street. <sighs> and guess what? He overpaid for this particular car. Yes, it still has the drive out tag. Um, think he only had this car for a little while. I'm just gonna give you a little peep at the drive out tag. Well, you can freeze it. And you know, but anyway, I got the drive out tag. Uh, you know, no sense of hiding it. <laughs> um, I think he paid like four grand, overpaid for the car, poor fella. Car got like 200,000 miles on it. Um, the engine went out on the freeway on him. And then again, these thieves. I really hate thieves. This guy's already down on his luck. And they jacked his car up and stole his catalytic converters. How about that? <sighs> so, not only he need an engine, his engine locked up, need catalytic converters. Cats are not cheap. <sighs> this guy, he's probably gonna need another three to four grand. And he's considering it. I don't, I don't know what to say. He's going to probably all in all be looking at somewhere around an eight grand total that he got wrapped up in a, well, this got 200,000 miles on it. So on the street value, that's like 1500 bucks for the car. If it's not sentimental, like, you know, priceless where your great, great granddaddy car you know, yeah, put money into it. That's sentimental value. You can't put a price tag on family history. You know, if your great great grandma drove around in this car and you know something, you know, sentimental. Yes, put the money into it. I don't care if it's a five hundred dollar pinto or whatever the case may be, I would do the same if I was in that situation. So I'm not saying, you know, I, and then now I'll remind you. The Exploder, I mean, the Mountaineer, may be sentimental to that guy, you know. He may have had it for a while, so I can't really speak on that. But this, that other last example I just gave you, he just got that car. So, it's not sentimental. <laughs> it's not in the best of shape. Transmission may go out when he put that engine in it. Yes, I don't know what to say, you know, but hey. This is my piece. I'm speaking it for 2023. I'm not going to have this conversation no more. <laughs> so that was my tip. Do your research on these vehicles. Do not put four or five grand into a car that's worth a thousand dollars. It's not smart. Guys, I don't care if it is paid for. You know, go out and get you some way nicer. There's plenty of examples. I mean, I'll try to put an example up on the screen or something. But, you know, do your research. Be smart. 
Do not beat a dead horse. That's my tip. Alex Car Doctor out. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like and subscribe. See you guys on the next video.